Where them real niggas at? Them niggas is trying to build empire stat. Them niggas is already stacking gold, not that cash. Them niggas that's eating that real food, not that trash. These niggas ain't out here just chasing titties and fat ass. These niggas, they out here with their goddesses, building up lands, creating strong, unbreakable legacies. Fuck social media, porn hub, only fans. These niggas see past it because they understand their purpose on this land. So this is really targeted to my niggas out here. And when I say niggas, I'm speaking of my black men, my black kings, my black guys, because that's the community that I associate with. So I wanted to kind of speak today because I'm seeing a lot of bullshit. Like, you guys, you niggas out here are running amok, fucking everything you can, unfocused, don't know what you're doing, don't have strong foundations, um... And are basically involving yourself with the wrong individuals. A lot of these men out here are really exuding characteristics of women. They're um, becoming ultra feminine. And these are masculine men, um, but they're not building like they're supposed to. What they're doing is they're using energy from women, making women work for them, making women provide for them, give them money, um, you know, do whatever they can to um, take energy from women who love and support them only to uh, feed their ego, build themselves up, and really ultimately it does nothing because that ego, whatever you're fueling, doesn't help pass down wealth to future generations. It really just breaks and divides black families, which is really unfortunate. Um, you know, there's um, someone on YouTube, she's amazing and she coaches women, but um, she coaches them really on becoming um, more of like a gold digger. And, um, and that's fine, you know, if women wanna take that route, that's fine. Um, but a lot of women aren't that way. A lot of women like myself, we are trying to build, you know, we want to create legacies for our family. So, for example, I'm not the type of person that's going to sit home, wait for somebody to get home and cook for them and clean. Hell fucking no. I'm out there hustling because I'm trying to be a multi-billionaire, you know. So why aren't these men having the mindset? They just trying to be out here being thousandaires and shit, you know, working nine to fives and coming home to somebody in a fucking apron that's supposed to be cooking their meals and shit. That's so fucking stupid. Like, no, we need to be out here building businesses, building the block, buying the block, you know, having schools for our children, especially now, especially now. We are, we need to be building up our communities, but guess what? The black man is so busy fucking off, you know, anything he can, um, you know, anything walking instead of focusing on his mission on this earth, and that's to build. I think a bigger issue is that a lot of men, they get into relationships, you know, they're, they're coached into relationships the wrong way. They are told, okay, if you get this person pregnant, then you need to marry them. Or, you know, if you're involved in relationships for X amount of time, you need to marry them, stuff like that. And they're involving themselves in these relationships that are wrong um, instead of waiting. You know, I think a lot of men should not get married until they're after like 35 or something like that. And age that doesn't necessarily you know amount to a lot but it kind of does in terms of maturity and getting out there and really exploring yourself and really learning who you are it took me a long time to even know who I was and what I liked you know I felt like I when I got married I, I definitely married the wrong person because I was caught up in this whole fairy tale about what a marriage is supposed to be and I think that's what happens with men when they get into these midlife crisis issues and you know they're 44 you know and 50 and they want to get the hottest car they want to you know have the nicest clothes and they want to attract really young women it's because their mindset is still stuck in an 18 year old mindset because they got involved in a marriage or whatever in a relationship or whatever they did really too young 
And instead of growing up to be a man that they were supposed to be, understand what their mission is in life, not necessarily be out fucking everybody in the world, but really understand what their true mission is. And it's not to work for some corporation. It's not to, you know, build up somebody else. What is your true mission? You you didn't take the time to do that. So now you're stuck in a relationship and you're stuck becoming a provider for somebody you may or may not even like. I'll give you an example. You know, I know somebody who married young he married a white woman black man and you know he married based on looks and she married because she what he told me was she was a gold digger and um she was looking for stability and that's what a lot of men do they go for women that want some type of stability because they want to be providers and that's right and that's how it should be but see she was a manager at kmart so let me ask you this like all right unless she has a plan while she's at Kmart, going to school, stuff like that, you know, what do you think you're going to build with the manager of Kmart? So now fast forward to 20 years later, and they're still married unhappily, and he's out there cheating with every girl he can because he's unfulfilled. And in his conversations, when he talks to people, he talks about his high school days. Oh, yeah, when I was in high school, I used to do this. Nigga, you fucking damn near 50. What you talking about high school? Do you have any other experiences? See, men, they get caught up in the past instead of like focusing on the future because they're with the wrong person so when you marry these individuals and you know that it's not the right person it's okay to get a divorce even if you have like multiple children it's okay to walk away from it and focus on you maybe you need to be single and focus on what your what your life path is. But see, people are so codependent and feeling like they have to have a man or they have to have a woman. I really think that men need to take time for self. I see a lot of women that are doing it, going inside, because they've been so broken by men, unfortunately. So they're taking time to heal. I think it's time for men now to take time to heal. Because listen. This is a hard conversation for some niggas to hear. These niggas whipping out their dick so quick they can't see clear. Like, yo, y'all whipping out your dick for anything that run by. Instead of using that energy, redirecting that powerful sexual energy into building. Like, our ancestors built pyramids. How? We lost all that knowledge because we listening to whatever somebody else told us is supposed to be our life path, being a doctor, being a lawyer, being a construction worker or whatever for some, you know, for whatever corporation, which is good. That's cool to do that until you figure out what your purpose is in life. But you can't figure out what your purpose is if you're running around just, you know, thinking, you know, following hip hop culture, which is totally wrong. And it's teaching you to be a robot. It's teaching you to not even understand your body, not even understand your power and not even understand your worth. Black men, I need you guys to go deep, like really go deep and realize who you are. You know, once you know who you are, you're going to recognize a queen and you will never... It's not disrespect because you don't know no better, but address her by her name. She is a queen. She is a goddess. She is an empress. Like, respect these women out here who are creating life. Y'all out here thinking, listen, men, y'all need an empress. If you're trying to build an empire, you need a real empress. Somebody who will walk beside you and build with you. That's the only true way to build an empire. It's not masculine in any way for a woman to be a builder. But women create life. We do that shit. We build up businesses. We build up stuff, but we are often downplayed into assistant roles or we're supposed to assist a man when we're usually like kind of smarter it's unfortunate that um black women in particular our intelligence has to be downplayed and i do get it a lot of black women come off very masculine but there are a lot of feminine black women and you know women in general who are hard workers who just want to build this is innately in us this is we are builders we are creators of life but instead we get downplayed as being too masculine when we want to 
build up corporations are you know we're more intelligent than a lot of men out here not to not to say that but i mean women are very intelligent so let's stop disrespecting our queens and and show them that you know they're worthy of love from a man who is in a power position and they're worthy of a place at the table because ultimately you can't be nothing like you have to have it's yin and yang like you need that balance to men please like reconsider your approach to dating really take your time realize who you are and realize what you really want you know get out of these relationships that don't serve you because you're only going to waste your time don't you want to buy the block don't you want to create communities of wealth it's very easy for us we're very intelligent let's do this shit